In this competitive world full of ideas, when a good product idea comes to you, you'll almost certainly need a team of experts by your side to execute it. A product team is essential because as we know, user experience is one of the most significant factors of a product success. If your product team is having difficulty defining requirements and developing a clear understanding of the final product, a good business analyst can step in and help. And that's exactly what we'll be talking about today. Hey there, I'm Derek, the art director here at Sidon. And in this video, we'll be focusing on how important the role of business analyst is within a product design agency by breaking down one of Sidon's recent projects. Before we get into the project breakdown, let's look at the five most common roles that require different business analyst skill sets in no particular order. The first is a business process analyst, which is an information technology professional who specializes in analyzing processes and workflows with the goal of improving or automating them whenever possible. The second role is requirements analyst, who work with the project stakeholders and end users to bridge the business technology gap as well as collect, document, and analyze requirements. The third is the systems analyst, who assists in the design and creation of a solution by collaborating with the technical team and compiling all the necessary specifications. The fourth role is that of a data analyst, which is pretty self-explanatory. Aside from analyzing data to identify problems, they must also identify relationships between data types and elements. And the fifth is a user experience analyst, who creates the look and feel of the user interface and user interaction while keeping efficiency and ease of use in mind, as well as understanding the end user's behavior. The business analyst role also includes product manager responsibilities like defining the product vision, developing the product roadmap, and conducting market and user research. Now let's take a look at a real world example of how our business analyst slash project manager handled a recent project here at Sidon. Despite the fact that the team's task was only to create screens for a demo presentation, they began by learning about the general market and domain, as well as validating market fit. In addition, the project manager assisted the stakeholders in prioritizing features, defining scope, and focusing the process on the end user. Conducting research is one of the most important steps at the very start. This is where information about the project, its intended market, and its target audience is gathered and analyzed. This discovery phase enables the team to gain a comprehensive and in-depth understanding of the objectives, scope, limitations, and end-user needs and requirements. Fortunately, the clients had already conducted primary research, determining the problem, and presented a clear vision of the product. The procedure was slightly tweaked by the team to achieve the best results. Conducting market research is the top priority for a startup because it allows founders to make informed decisions before launching. An in-depth market analysis usually requires a significant amount of time and effort. To succeed in the long run, entrepreneurs must understand the overall market situation as well as the domain execution in which the startup operates. At Sidon, every process and project starts with research, which allows the team to delve deeper into the domain context, ensure all business needs and objectives are understood, and map potential solutions. This part of the project is the sole responsibility of the business analyst. To gain a better understanding, content from various sources, structures, and data are gathered. They are looking for general market conditions and capabilities, competitors and existing products, and potential users and their routines. Cloud-based whiteboards are used to map all relevant information so that the team members and stakeholders can easily share. At this point, it's also necessary to become acquainted with the user. User research informs the team how people approach tasks and achieve their personal objectives. It gives the team context and perspective, allowing them to respond with useful, simplified, and productive design solutions. The objective is to conduct both qualitative and quantitative research, such as user interviews and questionnaires. These tools are extremely useful during the research phase because they allow everyone to directly communicate with users, obtain answers to specific questions, and validate their hypothesis. Now that the business analysts had gathered all data, analyzed competitors, and interviewed users, it was time to move forward. The team can now collaborate with clients to prioritize essential features based on value, define the MVP scope, and develop the product roadmap. The team started with a product mind map which is a visual representation of a system and its processes. All potential solutions were discussed with designers by the business analysts. The team then devised a product vision statement, which describes the product's overarching long-term mission. This document serves as a guide and reminder of the common goal that all stakeholders involved in a product's development are attempting to achieve. 
Based on current solutions and user interviews, the team identified gaps in existing products and proposed improvements. This is known as the 2B state. Sidon has created a new process for dealing with user needs based on the customer journey framework in which potential problems are anticipated and avoided. Finally, the client receives documentation that's ready for the developers to use, a work breakdown structure of all the scope, use cases or user stories, depending on what the technical team requires, and acceptance criteria for each feature. The team also uploaded relevant research materials, interview insights, solution vision, product roadmap, and design files to the client's account. If you're interested in a more in-depth breakdown of this project, check out our blog post. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out in our comments, and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.